Panache Chocolatier. They've been on the plaza for about 35 years. I've worked here for about three years, and they brought me in to kind of change over the menu and bring in the food and the alcohol and help them with that. Well, um, we've been around in Kansas City for almost 40 years now. Uh, they started off just doing chocolates. So we handcraft all of the chocolates here, and it's all used with local and fresh ingredients. And then over the last few years, we've introduced some food and alcohol, so you can come and get a wine pairing with chocolates. Uh, we have plenty of desserts, and we also make handcrafted drinks, like lemonades that are fresh squeezed, and the old school soda fountain kind of drinks, like the chocolate sodas and the Italian cream sodas. The top seller is going to be the Choco Popo, which is just chocolate covered popcorn. And everyone in Kansas City has been obsessed with it for, for years now, and it's amazing. It's the good quality, the salty and the sweet. Yeah, the new, this is a new renovation. They did this about three years ago. It used to be, this used to be cut off, and that was all kitchen. Yeah, so it used to be a small little store, and uh, they, it's under new ownership. So the new owners came in, and they remodeled it, and they gave it the whole new look, and, and brought in some new items. During the weekdays, on the, during the day, it's pretty quiet, but uh, on the weekends and in the evenings, it, it gets pretty busy, and we usually have a line, and people love the ice cream, and they come, they come down here for dessert after dinner. We do. We, get, you know, we do get a lot of kids that come down here on the weekends, because they like to hang out down here, and there's not really a ton of little snack shops around, so we're kind of the go-to place for everyone to get a little snack and a drink. Oh, Younger kids so really like the Oreos and the salted caramels. So we've got a bunch of different varieties of salted caramels, and, and they like those a lot, too. We, do, we serve quiche and muffins and things like that. So um, it's a lot of the staff around here will come on weekdays. But on the weekends, we do get customers coming in for breakfast, and, and the Parisi coffee who prepared the Parisi. We do have tons of regulars, and we know them by name, and they know us. And, yeah, they, they come every day, and they'll sit outside and have ice cream and enjoy it. My name is Deanna Mason. Um, this is technically my sixth day, <laughs> but it's week four. <laughs> yeah, um, it's, it's a lot of fun. I get to work with all the different chocolates, which I haven't had experience doing that before, but I do have experience as like a barista and a cashier and all our other sorts of experience. It's been pretty neat. The most things I've made are ice cream. Um, like I've, I've made the different ice creams, which is pretty cool, um, but the truffles have been pretty neat. Like, yeah, it's a fun dipping process because it's all done by hand. So. Yeah. I was just trained here, um, and it's just following the company procedures. Um, I didn't have, like, I did have to get like a food handler's license and everything like that. But you know, it's I was already trained as a barista, so I came in with that knowledge. And then they were like, "Can you do this too?" And so I was like, "I can figure it out." <laughs> but I, I didn't get the, I got, haven't had the opportunity to like say, "Oh, can we try making this yet?" or something like that. But Maybe in the future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they each have a, like the truffles, they, they all have a different internal um, base, because that's where you get all your flavor in a truffle. And then they have the outer coating that you have to work to dip the chocolate at the right time, otherwise, you know, yeah. it'll just fall apart. So it, it's kind of an interesting process. But I've tried a lot of things, but my absolute favorite is our European truffle. It's got like that bittersweet. Uh, cocoa powder on the outside and then like a really smooth sweet ganache on the inside it's almost like a fudge absolute favorite thing it's actually the reason I said yes to the job oh, wow. <laughs> I was like well <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, starting out uh, I was just doing the weekends and now that school's coming to a close because I have a student rockers um, now that that's coming to a close for the semester I'll be here more often I don't know yet how often it just oh, yeah. depends on what they tell me because I'm like Sketch me whenever. <laughs> and they're like, well, you're going to be full time. I was like, oh, yeah, whatever that means. Um, so, it, yeah, it'll depend. But it's, it's really neat because they're a family owned business. And so it's a little more close knit. And so they're more willing to work with you on things like that. So it's pretty cool.